So this is a party boat and it's been traveling across a lake. And what's happened is that a GPS sensor has recorded uh, the following data, which is now displayed as the velocity time graph. So we've got velocity in meters per second up the side and time along the bottom. And we want to know the acceleration between eight and 12 seconds. Now, the way we can do this is by looking at the gradient of this part of the graph, because we're going between eight and 12 seconds. Now, to work out the gradient, uh, what I'm going to do is just very carefully, I'm going to use my pencil actually for this, I'm just going to draw on a triangle that goes between 8 and 12. So when it's at 8, we're going to start here, and then we're going to finish at 12. So if I just draw that in like so, because what we're going to be doing is to work out this acceleration, we need to work out the gradient. And it's always a really good idea to just draw on a triangle over the point that you're drawing that gradient. We can then actually look at these points. So this point here is 8, 6. I'm just going to write that to the side. And this point up here is 12. And it's midway between 8 and 10, so it's 12, 9. So these are my co the coordinates of the top and the bottom of the line that we're looking for the gradient. So the acceleration is equal to the gradient. The gradient is going to be equal to our change in y value over the change in x value. Now the y value, it goes from 6 to 9, so that's equal to 9 minus 6. And we're dividing that by the change in x value, which is, goes from 8 to 12, so that's 12 minus 8. And it's always worth showing a bit of working out to show how you got these numbers. 9 minus 6 is 3, 12 minus 8 is 4. So that's just equal to 3 quarters, which is 0 0.75. And because it's an acceleration, we mustn't forget the units. Although it's a gradient, it still has units. And here that's meters per second divided by seconds. So that's meters per second squared.